Hey friends, I'm out here at the Sam site and the host, his name Don, just uh, brought up to me a morel mushroom he found. So, uh, man, I'm excited. I'm going to go take a look and see if we can find some more. All right, so I found one morel mushroom. Didn't find any others, but all we need is one. I've never had them before, so we're going to try it out. And uh, before you eat them, you don't want to eat them raw. They have to be cooked and uh, because they'll make you sick or maybe even worse but before you uh, cook them you're supposed to put them in a salt water bath for 10 minutes three times so we'll use my handy dandy tin cup here and we're going to put a little salt in it and we're just going to soak it in there i think that's just to help take care of bugs is probably the main reason for it for some kind of you know to sanitize them a little bit so we'll let this soak for 10 minutes I'll do that two more times and then we'll get back prep this and cook it and see what it tastes like so the morels had three 10 minute baths in in salt water we should be good to go I'm just gonna drain this water off quick note these only grow in the wild you can't um, you can't buy these in the stores and uh, let me move it in the center there. So, I'll give you a better view. And um, if you people go find them and then sell them, and they run as much as a hundred dollars a pound, if you can believe that. So, it's recommended. Of course, you first trim off the bottom of the stock here. Get rid of that, and then to prepare them you slice them vertically in half you can also quarter them if you want to which I think I will in this case so I'm gonna I'm just gonna do one in a, in force and the other one I'm gonna leave whole just like that then we're gonna go over fried in hot oil and then when they're about cooked you add some butter they also put uh, garlic and other seasonings in them but I'm gonna do them just plain because I want to know what the morel tastes like pretty much just by itself so now that the morel is prepared let's get over to the fry pan okay, so for starters you want to get use about a tablespoon I might have a little more than that but get that oil shimmering hot first and So we're going to cook these for about four minutes. They're going to get deep colored, almost, almost real dark brown when they're done. That's why you don't cook them directly in butter, because I guess the butter will burn before you get them cooked. So in about three minutes, should be ready to, that we can add the butter. Probably don't need quite that much vegetable oil, so I'm going to soak some out of here. Now we're going to add some butter. Maybe like half a tablespoon is all we need, more than enough for that. And we'll these in a little bit of butter let that get into all those pores I think we'll just eat these right out of the pan we don't need to plate this all right here we go first time tin cup chef is trying a morel mushroom I'm gonna start with the little the little piece I've heard they were meaty it's a good description. The texture is good. Honestly, all I really taste is butter. It's good. I don't know if I'd pay $100 a pound for this stuff, but if I find one or two, I'm definitely going to grab them. Hmm. So, I can chalk that off my list of 
to do. And uh, anyway, so if you find some mushrooms, more L mushrooms in the wild, you might want to pick them. If you're not going to eat them, at least you can sell them for good money. Take care.